Welcome back. This is the last video for this session and we'll just do a short summary of what we learned. So in uh, the first lesson, we did a quick introduction into machine learning and we talked about uh, the car price prediction example. So we wanted to predict the price of a car and we looked at uh, uh, what the features are. So the features uh, are all the characteristics of a car that we have. So this is everything we know about the car. And then we have the target variable. This is what we want to predict uh, about uh, the car. So these things go to a machine learning algorithm and the output is a model. And model is something we can use later to, um, to predict the prices for cars for which we don't know price. So if there is a, there are some cars, Let's say for this Audi, we don't know what the price is. We put it into, inside a model and the model tells us that the price for this car is 23,000. In the second lesson, we compared uh, rule-based systems with uh, machine learning. So in a rule-based system, uh, humans come up with rules and then convert these rules into a programming language uh, like Python. And we talked about an example of spam prediction. So we would manually, in a rule-based system, we would manually analyze the data. We'll try to extract patterns from this data and code them as rules. And uh, it becomes uh, quite messy over time. And with machine learning, we don't have this data, with this problem because we don't need to encode this manually and models extract uh, patterns uh, themselves. So they pick, they just look at, uh, at the training data, at our features, and uh, they use uh, statistics and mathematics to figure out uh, uh, like what are the uh, patterns present in these features and uh, what we can use to actually make a decision if something is a spam or not. Then we talked about this concept of supervised learning because both of these examples of uh, price prediction and spam prediction is supervised learning because we have the target variable. So the Y here is our target variable. So this is the information we want to predict. We uh, know this and this is something we want to learn. So our model G, uh, so this is a model. And so the model extracts patterns from uh, data and then uh, for data for which we don't know the price. So this is our uh, feature matrix, capital X. We apply the model and we get something that is close uh, as possible to target. Then we talked about the, the bigger picture. So modeling, so this machine learning. So this is like this uh, G uh, from X equals Y. So this is only a part of the entire process. And in addition to modeling, there are many other things. So from business understanding, when we need to understand uh, the problem, then uh, all like about understanding data sources, about preparing the data, because this X uh, needs to be uh, prepared in the right form, right? So we can actually put this in a model. And then of course, there is also a deployment step because without this deployment step, uh, even the best model is not uh, useful. So, and uh, machine learning is just a part of the entire process. We talked then in more details about this, uh, the modeling step, and we talked about the process of selecting the best model. And uh, there we take the entire data set, we split it into three parts, and we use one part validation data set for uh, finding the best model. And then we use another part uh, training, uh, testing data set to make sure that we don't accidentally uh, pick a model that uh, got good results just by chance. Then uh, lesson six wasn't uh, really a lesson. So you just needed to install all the environment. So uh, for this course, we need NumPy, Pandas, uh, scikit-learn, Matplotlib. And the, the easiest option uh, to get all of this is to install Anaconda. And uh, for those who are interested, it's also possible to actually create a uh, server to rent a server on AWS or other cloud providers and use it as well. Then in lesson seven, we talked about NumPy. So NumPy is a library in Python for manipulating uh, numerical data, so numerical arrays. 
and we talked about uh, different operations that uh, are useful for data science and machine learning uh, that are available in NumPy. Then in the lesson eight, we talk about linear algebra. We talked about multiplication. So we talked about uh, uh, vector vector multiplication. So if you remember, we had two vectors, U and V, and we talked about multiplication between them. Then we talked about matrix vector multiplication when one is matrix uh, denoted as capital U and then other is letter, uh, small letter you know, V. And then we talked about uh, matrix matrix multiplication. And in all these cases, so for matrix matrix multiplication, it's possible to express uh, matrix matrix multiplication as a set of matrix vector multiplications. And also matrix vector multiplication is possible to express as a bunch of um, vector vector multiplications. And we saw that actually, if you implement everything in code, the formulas no longer look scary. And then uh, finally, in lesson nine, we talked about pandas, which is a library in Python for processing tabular data, um, basically uh, dealing with tables. And the main abstraction there is a data frame. And we talked about uh, different operations that we can do with pandas. And that's it. That's what we covered. And in the last, next session, we will do something practical. So in this, this session was more abstract. It was, it was about like um, more abstract things like, okay, what you can do with machine learning, what you can do with NumPy, what you can do with pandas. But in the next, next session, we will actually do a project. We will predict the price of a car. So stay tuned.